Greetings Internet, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 3 of my walkthrough of the demo of part 3 of Momus Quest Paradox RPG. Today we get to handle these two villages, the Fox and Tanuki villages. So we've reached the Fox village. Let's meet Tamamo and get the details. Ah, Tanuki-sama has been kidnapped by the Tanuki tribe. <laughs> what you say? Hey, you there, Kitsu. You there, Fox. What's going on? Wow. I don't fully understand. Tamamo-sama, Tamamo-sama. Earlier, we received a blackmail letter from the Tanuki tribes saying that they'd taken Tamamo-sama. I don't think that she could be so easily captured by Kuro Tanuki, though. Really hard to consider. Tamamo's house is in the center of the village. Let's hurry there. We can talk to one of her retainers and get the details. Of course, we're going to hurry straight there. But there's a little bit in the town to talk to first. Shuffle, shuffle, hee hee, it's a secret. Okay, yes, that doesn't seem important, but... Okay, maybe it's not important, but I like it. And this is to enjoy after the battle. Hey, what are you looking at? Hmm. Well, that's the first stage of prelude. Hey, you look like a retainer. Oh, what has happened? For Tamamo Sama to be kidnapped. Just what is going on here, y'all? Let me hear the story. Earlier, we received a letter from the Tanuki tribes. It's con about its contents. I have taken custody of Tamamo, the leader of the Fox tribe. Signed, the leader of the Tanuki tribe, Kuro Tanuki. I immediately went to search for Tamamo's whereabouts, but since she left for a walk this morning, her whereabouts are unknown. But her abilities are out of the ordinary. Even if her opponent is Kurodanuki, I cannot think that she could be captured so easily. Well, recently Tamamo-sama has been very much tired. She returned to her normal, to her full form in Grand Gold Battle which involves a violent expenditure of mana. And since then, she's been spending every day tracking down the footsteps of the Dark God World's other Tamamo. She's taken no days to rest, and has been and undergone a succession of difficult missions. And further, with my mother's death, she has to stand in and execute the duties of the Mao. So, perhaps when she was worn down, somebody took advantage of it. But, this blackmail letter, isn't it strange? It just declares what has happened. It doesn't have any demands. Well, Kuro Danuki is a powerful person, but... She's dumb and immature, you see. Maybe she just wanted to brag about her strength. In any case, y'all, don't act yet just yet. If the Fox tribes advance on the Tanuki tribes right now, it'll bring confusion to the matter. And so, we are going to head over to the Tanuki village. There we'll search for Tamamo and get and feel out the true intentions of Kuro Danuki. 
Are you all right with that? Yeah, leave it to me, Mao-sama. I will stay here and suppress the disorder in our village. Please, somehow, take care of Tamamo-sama. Ah, jeez, these foxes making me go through trouble. So then, let's hurry over to the east where the Tanuki village is. Are we going to be fighting with the Tanuki tribe? Well, in the end, we are third parties in the conflict. If we convey that we're entreating treaty, in for peace, they shouldn't attack us. But saying that, Black Alice is involved. We'd need to be prepared just in case. Oh, it'd be nice if we could resolve this peacefully, though. So then, let's head for the Tanuki village. Okay. But one more thing in the fox village. There's a cave back here. With a suspicious person. What are you doing in a place like this? Uh, you know, no, no. I'm investigating the village. There, uh, there is quite a bit of trouble afoot. Just to make sure, you're not involved with this particular incident, are you? What? That is... That's an unthinkable accusation. To take captive Shisha... <clears throat> I mean, Tamamo-sama. It's terrifying. Anyway, my attempts to search out Tamamo-sama have been a shipwreck. Search type magic is something I am terribly bad at. My own enormous magic power disrupts the search magic. It's this uh, holy dark power that I was born with, you see. Wipe that smirk off of your face. It's a, sorry. And geez, he's getting a He's let his power go to his head. Well, let's go search the next place. Well, yeah, he hasn't said much yet, but you know when Nero shows up that he's important. Alright, we've reached the Tanuki village. First things first, let's meet with Kuro Tanuki, the head of the Tanuki tribe. Wah! Tanuki-sama has been kidnapped by the fox tribe. What you say? Just what's happening here? Earlier, earlier, we got a letter from the fox tribes that they'd abducted Tan Kuro Tanuki-sama. I heard nothing of the sort from the fox tribes. It's quite the opposite. They've got their hands full with the disappearance of Tamamo. This is probably the covert scheme of somebody or other. They're sowing the seeds of war between the foxes and the Tanuki. Now, could this be the work of Black Alice? She herself, or one of her underlings? The fact that she is involved, though, there's no mistake about it. Anyway, let's gather the information. Let's wander about the Tanuki village and ask around. Unlike the Fox Village, there's not much to see here before the conflict gets underway. Except these two. These two are the people who do the administration. Because Kuro Danuki is not really uh, an administrator type, let's say. And here we have Inogami Gyobu Tanuki. 
Oh, what has happened here? For Kuro Danuki-sama to be kidnapped by the Fox Tribe. This is the number two of the Kanu Tanuki Tribe. And the retainer of Kuro Danuki. Without a doubt, Inugami Gyobu Tanuki. Look, I'm the Mao. And I've come to mediate between the, your two tribes in this conflict. So let's get down to business quickly and hear the complete story from you. Ma Mao Sama? Yes, of course, come sit down. You must go and punish the fox tribes for their lawlessness. Because you see, this morning, we got this out of letter. I have taken custody of Kuro Tanuki, the leader of the Kitsu of the Tanuki tribe. Signed, the leader of the Fox tribe, Tamamo. This is... It's got Tanuki and Fox backwards, but the contents is the, are the same. Glug, glug, glug. She starts suddenly drinking some sake. Sake. Eee. She makes that sound a lot. It's a generic Japanese drunkenness sound. Hey, is this the time to be drinking? Of course, I am serious about this. This sake is to re is for regaining my composure. So, I immediately went to search for Ta Kuro Tanuki-sama, but I couldn't see her figure anywhere. And presently, we are organizing a squad, an attack squad. In no time at all, they're going to start the attack on the Fox Village. The ones who abducted Kuro Tanuki weren't the Fox Tribe. It's a covert scheme of Black Alice, for sure. Even if you say that, it's a bit too late. The villagers aren't going to stop. We are on the cusp of beginning the operation to recover Kuro-Ranuki-sama. As long as you don't have definite proof, the operation cannot be stopped. Hmm, truly. If we don't have proof of the scheme, we won't be able to convince people. Alright, as fast as we can, we're going to bring some proof. Until that time, you need to somehow hold off the attack. I can't make any definite promises. The villagers have gotten riled up. They're about to fly off at any moment. Is that so? Well, we can't postpone this very well. Let's hurry and search the village. Right, let's hurry. We need to search out some proof that Black Alice is involved. Glug, glug, glug. Again, suddenly starts drinking sake. Hey, I really gotta keep drinking. Okay, I told you that Kuro Danuki isn't a good administrator for the village. This girl isn't either. So then, let's search the Tanuki village. But before that, Mephisto, can you search out whether Tamamo is in this village? Search type magic is your forte. Understood. Let's spread out a magic search net over the entire village. I wasn't able to detect her. Tamomo-sama is not within this village. Well, it's not that I was doubting the Tanuki tribes, but as expected, they definitely don't have 
any connection to the abduction of Tamamo. So then let's investigate the village and find some proof that Black Alice is involved. The preparations are complete. With this, let's begin our operation to recover to Kurodanuki-sama. Charge, Tanner Tanner! Kurodanuki-sama, we'll save you for sure! Well, balls. Oh no! They've already started their attack on the Fox Village. Now that it's gotten this far, we can't stop them. Let's put off the proof and hurry back to the Tanuki Village. Ah, oh, I guess we couldn't avoid bloodshed after all. Anyway, it's an emergency situation. Let's hurry back to the Fox Village. Oh no, the village has already become a battleground. We've got to stop the fighting as soon as possible. Well, now that it's come to this, I don't think con discussions are going to cut it. Without the orders from their chiefs, neither the foxes nor the Tarnoki are going to stop. Say, could I have a moment? What is it? Speak quickly. In this village, I spread a magic search net, but there was a result, a reaction, of Tamamo-sama. Tamamo is somewhere in this village? What's the location? In the middle of this mayhem, with the spirits of the foxes and Tanuki and four wolf at full tilt, I was unable to get a precise lock on the disc on the location. If she's not even showing herself in a crisis of her village, probably she's been imprisoned somewhere. All right, let's search out Tamamo. Let's gather information from the villagers. Gather information yourself. In this situation. Anyway, ask questions of the foxes. If the Tanuki get in their way, beat them up. You guys, do you have to do this, go through all this trouble every time? Well, this time I'll be around with you, but... She's got a point. It's always complicated. <clears throat> well, this has gotten hard, but we got to do it. Here it's repeating what we need to do. Beat up Tanuki, talk to foxes. This is the fox that will give you a hint as to what you need to do, but I'm going to skip that because I kind of already know. Remember Nero? He's... Uh, He's in big, big trouble. Yeah. Wait there! Suspicious person! Uh-huh. Wait there, suspicious person. Uh, uh, please save me! What are you doing? Well, do we save him? We don't have a lot of choice, because if we don't do it... The event will never get resolved. <clears throat> Stop picking on the suspicious person. Well, it's a hero. Okay, I'm going to take control here. And I'm going to recruit this particular Tanuki because I want to recruit the Tanuki that was chasing Nero around. Ultimately, the game doesn't keep track of this, but I like knowing that the Tanuki in my party is the Tanuki that gave Nero a run for his money. Anyway, yeah, she'll join my party. So then, I'll do my best. I think surely I'll get stronger than the foxes like this. 
Isn't she cute? You should be very strong, you know? Why were you getting chased around by a bean tanuki? Just an aside, mommy tanuki, or bean tanuki, is one of those terms for a small tanuki. <clears throat> the foxes and the tanuki are my cherished friends. I could not bring harm upon them. And thanks to you, I'm saved. Jeez, what are you doing? By the way, has there any be been any progress in your investigation? Ah, of course. I have some useful information. About the time of the incident, somebody spotted a human woman. In this village, a human woman is quite rare. It, but it could be some monster other that transformed into a human. And that woman ab dropped off, so, um, yeah, abandoned something in a pot by the edge of the by the edge of the fields. I can think that this is information that would be useful. Something in a pot by the fields. Mm, truly, it seems like something that we need to investigate. All right, let's hurry and investigate that pot. I will wait here in this pot, in this cave. If I uh, show my face out there, I get the feeling I'll be chased around again. <laughs> You're kind of useless in a way. You know, now that I think of it, there are tons of fields around this village. What unreliable information he's given us. Can't be helped. Let's investigate all around. From one end to the other. Let's check every single pot on the edge of a field. Okay. Remember when I checked here? That was a fox girl and not a human woman poking around this pot. So we know it isn't this one. And that was after the incident started anyway. And again here, a fox, not a human. But this, this one's different now, isn't it? We got a Tamamo ball. A Tamamo ball. Hmm, this fur ball, it's uh, somehow twitching. Help me, I am here. No wait, this fur ball. Tamamo? I was taken off guard, attacked while I was taking a nap in the cave. With these difficult tasks I've been taking on one after the other, I was exhausted. And they cast a ceiling magic on me and now I'm like this. This is so pathetic of me. Even with the power of the six answers, you can't break this seal. In my original form, if I return to my original form, it'd just be a tiny little bit. But there's a coming battle and I want to save my strength as much as possible. I'm waiting for the vi I'm keeping it, uh, I'm keeping it as a last resort in case of emergency. So I've been waiting for someone to help me. Thank you for coming to my rescue. You have my thanks. Don't be stupid, it's already to the situation where you shot to be acting. So hurry up and do something. Well, you say that, but I am right now just a furball. Until the seal is broken by defeating the caster, I can't do anything. The caster. In other words, the mastermind of this incident. As expected, there's no mistake that it's one of Alice's, Black Alice's followers. 
Yeah, there should be no mistake about it. But for now, let's put off searching for the caster. We need to prioritize searching for Kuro Tanuki in the Tanuki village. Not included here. How Tamamo would possibly know that Kuro Tanuki was in the Tanuki village like she's in the Fox village. Other than by symmetry or something. Anyway. She, like I, is probably confined somewhere. Yeah, if we can search out the leaders of both villages, then the the plan, the covert scheme will be clear for all to see. So let's hurry back to the, the Tanuki village. Oh, this is no good. I can't fight any longer. Me too, I've used up all of my magic power. Ugh. The tides of battle have turned against us. All forces retreat. Return to the village. All right, the Tanukis have started their retreat. Time to pursue them. While we've got the advantage, we've got to push through and attack the Tanuki village. We need to recover Tamamo-sama. Hey, hey, wait you. I am here! It seems like the voice of a furball isn't going to reach them. Let's search out Kurodanuki and put an end to this conflict as soon as we can. These round trips between the villages are more troublesome than they ought to be. But we have to end this fight. Hurry over to the Tanuki village. Okay, okay. You black-hearted Tanuki! Return Tamamo-sama to us! What? What are you talking about? Yeah! Come forth, Zenki and Goki! Bring down heaven's judgment upon these vile Tanuki! In response to summons, we've come! You want us to beat up the Tanuki, do ya? <laughs> My arms are itchy. It's an assault by the ta by the foxes! Rally! Rally! So now this village is a battleground. Jeez, the flames of war are just spreading. With a magic search web, let's let's search for Kuro Danuki. I have never met her myself, so I don't know if I can detect her. In the direction of the caves, I do sense an unusual power. There's someone who happens to be powerful over in that vicinity. So, even here, there's a, there's a cave as well. All right, let's hurry over there. So, where's the cave? Let's beat up some Tanuki and ask them. How violent. But we do need to find Kuro Tanuki quickly. So even in the Fox Village and in the Tanuki Village, you only fight Tanuki. Uh, there's a gameplay reason for this. If you need a hint for where the cave is, this particular Tanuki will tell you. But I'm a cheater. Oh, I guess this Tanuki... Well, she won't tell us anything because... This is Inugami Kyobu Tanuki and she's staggering around. Alright, before our eyes, the cave in question. But, is this Tanuki going to get in our way? Um, sorry but, sorry but, would you move over, move over to the side for us? Hey, hey uh, move you guys, 
move. Yeah, yeah. She is pretty drunk. Well, I just have to drink in a situation like this. I might have drunk a little too much. Hehehe. <laughs> but now's not the time to say I need to take control of this situation. It's all right. I've, I've uh, sobered up. I'm not. I'm a little drunk. <laughs> Enough already. Let's beat her up. I like it when we get straight to the point. Oh, I need to re-equip my berserk items. Sa sake. Um. Yeah. All right. She collapses on the spot. Seems like she's falling asleep. So that's the Tanuki tribes number two. Is this whole race going to be all right? Good question. Anyway, let's enter the cave. But remember, I like all of my characters to be berserked. Whoops. Oh, sorry for skipping that dialogue. Some of the effect of it. Oh, there's nothing here. Wait, she could be sealed up like Tamamo. Hmm. This looks suspicious. I see. This pot is suspicious. Oh, you can see the sparkles too, Alice? I thought they were just for the players. All right, let's investigate. So Luke appears into the pot. Noah! Wow! Hey, who are you guys? And who's the one who stuffed me into this pot? She's not even sealed. She was just stuffed directly into the pot. This is what she looks like? I'm not going to complain because she's cute, but I was expecting someone more imposing. Well, in order to seal me, they would need like 2,000 of those uh, curse scripts or so of the highest level, no less. So having, exp having expended so much in such a short time frame, Maybe they didn't have enough left to seal up Kuro Danuki. Hmm? What's this? That for a ball. Could that be Tamamo? Ah ha ha ha. What a foolish appearance. Ah ha ha. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha 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 ha. He he. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Alright. You're finding this too humorous. <laughs> well, you see. You're this furball. <laughs> uh, you idiot. This, now is not the time to be laughing. Your village has got a big problem on its hands right now. Alright. This isn't the time to laugh. Time for some payback for stuffing me in this pot. Uh, wait just a minute here. That wasn't what something that we did. No time to argue. In any case, you're an ally of Tamamo. I'll beat you up. Ah, uh, all of you Tanuki are idiots. If there's no use arguing, then right back at you. Here we go. Everybody's so short-tempered, but, well, we're presented with this. We got to do it. Luca, you're not a member of the fighting party. There we go. Yeah, I've lost. As expected of Tamamo, my faded rival. You just don't... Don't simply decide for yourself that we're rivals, all right? Jeez, you're a troublesome girl.
Ah. Well, it seems like you didn't do anything this time. Anyway, time to get this situation under control. Oh, now that you mention it, it seems kind of noisy outside. Is it a festival? Don't be stupid. There's a war starting between the foxes and the tanuki. You need to go out there and put an end. Oh, well, we can't have that. Who is it? Maybe we were supposed to do this before meeting Izanami at the elf village. Ha ha ha, too late for that now. I am Izanami, the queen of the underworld. I am Himiko. You may better know me as Amaterasu, the god name that was given to me by the humans. Izanami and Amaterasu? There's no way. Those are the ancient gods of Yamatai from legend. It's these guys. They stuffed me into the pot. Wait, you knew who stuffed you into the pot? Oh, whatever. You cruel, you black Alice underlings. What you've done to me. I was of two minds about it, but as expected, we won't be forging ties with you after all. Now that you've raised your hands against my village, I'm your enemy. Mm, is what I'd like to say, but that's a little unreasonable. I took a little too much damage fighting with the heroes. Uh, even on our side, this is a little disadvantageous. Opponents of this level fighting two at a time. In that case, I shall be one of their opponents. Nero! Diabolical fiends, rending apart the coexistence of monsters with your vile schemes. Even if the heavens allow it, I and my scythe will not! Oh, what a cool speech. I should note this down. Vanilla, we love you. Hmm. You are of the bloodline of darkness. Interesting. I shall be your opponent. Himiko, you shall destroy the heroes. Leave it to me, mother. Now, I'll show you the power of one hailed as goddess of the sun. An originary god of Yamatai, Amaterasu. Be really careful. Our opponent is of a legendary class. It's unsightly that I can't fight. With my remaining power, let me give you a recovery. Yay, recovered. Yeah, because you did a lot of damage. Hey. Ancient gods of an ancient god of Yamatai. And a powerful opponent. But we won't lose. What was that? Did I hear that go down in one hit? Must have been my imagination. Ancient god and all that. <clears throat> oh, they're stronger than expected. It seems they won't just roll over easily. This situation is no longer interesting. Let us leave, Himiko. Understood, Mother. But what of the order that Black Alice gave us? It's about the right time. To her, this strife as well is one more game. Hmm. Are they planning on running? Oh, don't get so worked up, young hero. Sooner or later, we'll come to play again. 
When the world is breaking, we'll meet again. Then I'll invite you to the underworld. They always get away. Yeah, I don't think there's been a single time when we've actually successfully captured or killed an opponent. I might be wrong, there could be a few times, but nothing's coming to mind. Oh, the seal is breaking. I've returned! <laughs> splendid, splendid hero, Luca. Point of order, she shouldn't know Luca's name. <clears throat> you fought well for my village. All right, Tanukis. Let's put an end to this boring fight. As you can see, I'm alive and well. All foxes, seize your braids. This incident was a plot by Black Alice. Jeez. Well, with this, the incident is resolved. Running between these two village. As expected, it's tiring. So then, let's return to the Fox Village. So, under the orders of their respective village chiefs, the Foxes and the Tanuki cease their hostilities. And us, although tired from the ordeal, drag ourselves back to the Fox Village. Oh, we've really made you go through a lot of work this time. And thanks to you, the peace of the villages has returned. The foxes and the tanuki are both idiots. Each and every one of them. Uh, getting manipulated so easy by such a crude scheme. Yeah, another point of order. They just dropped the Tamamo ball in the pot and stuffed the Kuro Tanuki ball. Not really a ball. Also in a pot. If they just abducted them and flown off a couple miles in some random direction, we'd have never been able to find them. And then the scheme would have worked. But I guess I shouldn't be giving them advice, should I? <clears throat> Words fail me. Just through my kidnapping, it got, it came to disorder so quickly. But anyway, all's well that ends well. No great harm was done. And the Tanuki tribes have also returned to peace. In this particular incident, both the fox side and the tanuki side both need to have a lot of points to reassess about themselves. In order to thank you for the trouble that our rashness has caused, please take this. Oh, I guess I misread that. Anyway. Kuro Danuki herself isn't a bad Yoma. She's just a little resistant against me, personally. Ah, here we go. This time, this is your thanks for this incident. Go ahead and take it. This is the All Elements book. Now we can switch jobs over to the All Elements user. Excuse me, all elements user. Furthermore, take this. You guys should be able to make good use of it now. The Nine Tail Ball. Great. With this, we can change races in the fox branch of races to the Nine Tailed Fox. 
Oh yes, I was just about forgot. She wants to thank you too, so... Kurodenuki sent a missive for you to visit the Tanuki village. I understood. We'll go there a bit, in a bit. So then, one more incident resolved. There were no great sacrifices invoked. And we stopped Black Alice's plan. So we should also not forget to show our faces to Kuro Hiranuki. Surely she's got some goods to reward us with as well. Okay. Nero is relaxing and having some tea. Well, you've done a lot of work and everybody is grateful for you this time. Thanks to you, the friendship of the foxes and the tanuki has been preserved. Well, setting that aside, why, is it, why are you so familiar in this place? As if it's your own house. Uh, well, that is how rude of me. This house is always the same when I come, so I accidentally... Hmm. Every time you come, eh? Yao here has a lot to say after the incident, but it's lore about those weapons back at the ruined castle by the nameless slum. It's not really actionable right now. Oh, but before we leave... Oh, taking a dessert break after a battle. This is the best. Hey, what are you looking at? A dessert. She was keeping a dessert in there, huh? Well, it's a good thing we didn't take it from her because it wasn't ours, and she's enjoying it. <laughs> There's still some ab abrahage left over. It wasn't taken by the tanukis. Ah. She also stowed a stack snack in the pot. Good thing we didn't take a look in those pots, because knowing Alice, she would have definitely taken it. She's got a soft spot for food. And also bitter spots, salty spots, and every other flavor. Oh, we've caused you a lot of trouble this time. These are goods as our way of thanking you from the Tanuki tribe. Great, great. We get a pine cone and a vial of... Gross. This better not be your... Actually, I don't think it'd be better if it was someone else's. Do you have any uh, intention of apologizing with this? So then, Kuro Danuki-sama is waiting for you in the cave. She seems pretty excited, so go ahead and see her. Kuro Danuki in the cave. Don't understand why, but let's go see her. And now that everything's settled down again, time to continue with the sake. Glug, glug, glug. Tasty. How many words do you know for a useless drunk? And after the incident, a few of the Tanuki have interesting things to say. I like this one. Tell you the truth, I'm not a Tanuki. I'm a common raccoon. Keep it a secret from all my villagers, okay? Isn't that cute? Inogami Gyobusa Tanuki sama is completely useless, isn't wasn't she? She looks like an intellectual character, but is she not perhaps detrimental? Yeah, the lower tanuki know what's up. The upper tanuki, they are clueless. And clueless of and most clueless of all, they decided to make their chief. Hmm, <laughs> you've come. Tamamo! I challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one battle. Uh no. Tamamo is not here. Eh. Hey, aren't you allies with her? Uh, she and we. 
have a really complicated situation. Have a really complicated position between us. In any case, she is not action. She was not taking action with us at the moment. This was a waste of my time. The one whose time is wasted has been us. Yeah. Jeez. I thought that this might be the case, so I took the trouble and came down here. Oh, my faded rival. This time, let's decide who's on top. Well, if I don't do this, you won't be convinced. So, Luca, you and your guys, I'm counting on you to witness the fight. Understood. We're going to see this fight through to the end. Uh, Luca really does this like this kind of thing. A battle at the peak of the foxes and the tanuki. The leaders of the respective villagers are here for a one-on-one -on -one battle. So, commence! <laughs> here I go! Oh, jeez. Can't be helped. Kuroda Nuki-sama, do your best! So it started, Tamamo and Kuroda Nuki and their one-on-one -on -one fight. And after an intense battle, the winner is... Blarg! I am defeated! Grrr. Tamamo falls to the ground and Kuro Danuki looks at her now. So, the match is decided. Stop screwing around, Fox. I know you're not putting real effort into this. No, I was reasonably serious in fighting. You don't need to get so angry about it. You're plenty strong, aren't you? You're always like this. That's what I don't like about this. You've got some kind of trump card. I know it. I'm not so dumb as I can't tell. Ooh, bullseye. You're so calm because you got that trump card. You keep saying that we're evenly matched, but you're somehow acting all condescending to me. I can't tolerate that. I understand. If you're going to get that angry about it, I'll show you my true power. Oh, you're all right. Show it to me. Tamamo. Is this okay? Tamamo go... Uh, Kuro Danuki got manipulated. And one of the causes was my attitude towards her. I have a duty to at least show her my true form. Alright, do it, Tamamo. Show me your true power. Wagami ni toan, yuyukyu no toki. Shinjin shibarishi onke no kubiki, tsuki no tasogare to shiren. Waga shinjin yo, are! Mm hmm, mm hmm. This is what you wanted, right? This is my true form. Yeah! Kuro Danuki lost her will to fight. The end of the next morning. Well, after a night's rest has... Have you got a clear head again? Jeez. 
I was contending with something like that all this time. Just thinking back on it gives me chills. But anyway, my hesitation is cleared up. I get the feeling like my way is my way forward is clear now. And I do need to go and thank Black Alice for what she's done for the Tanuki tribes. So then, I am coming along with you guys. Uh huh. No need to thank me. I'm going to give Black Alice a black eye after all. All right, she's part of the party now. <laughs> If I'm with you guys, it'll be good training. I'm going to build up even more power. Enough power to surpass that Tamamo. Point of order. She says Tamamo in kanji rather than in hiragana. Which might mean something or it might not. Well, no change in how ambitious you are, that's for sure. But, it's fine. Getting more power for our allies is good for our cause. Uh, there are, is more or less a problem with her personality. But, yeah. The fact that she's a strong ally is certain. So we got a new ally and we continue on our journey. You're not forgetting anybody? Glug, 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 glug. Tasty. God, you're such a drunk. Hey, Inugami! Don't just hang out there drinking you're coming with. Hiya? Uh, yeah? I'm coming too. Well, if we just left you in the village, all you would do is sit around and drink, wouldn't you? Hey, come on. We're going. So Inugami Gami Gyobu Tanuki Sama has joined our party too. You may have noticed that Kuro Kuro Danuki called her Inugami for short. So Inugami it is for short. Easier to say, that's for sure. Well, if this is how it's come to be, it can't be helped. I'm Inugami. Nice to meet ya. Glug, glug, glug. Tasty! Okay. I think that clears it all up. Yeah, I talked to the Tanuki about who are interesting to talk to, so... That about wraps up everything we need to do between the foxes and the Tanuki. So next time, we're going to head on down to the Cockroach Headquarters, a.k.a. the Forgotten Tower. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.